Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Mossley Farm for season two of Farmville, and welcome to the series Greenhouse Channel. I am so excited that we have this new community location where we can relax and unwind and spend a lot of time together with this awesome, relaxing game. It is early in the morning, I have my hot cup of tea, and it appears that our wonderful friend, whose name I always forget. I always just want to call him Billy. So Billy, it seems Billy has shown up and he's telling me that some of the birds are perching on the backs of our cows, which is a great place to be if you're a bird who likes insects. And we're going to try to draw their attention with some fresh nuts, which sounds like a good idea. Ooh, he's really a avid bird watcher, it seems. I approve, Billy. All right, so we need to harvest three pecan trees feed three adult cows, and have our sweetie or kid do one cave exploring job. All stuff we'll tackle. But good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh my gosh, my chickens are already hungry again. I just fed that, that lot of chickens. And I think this is actually a pecan tree. Are you pecans? Pretty sure these are my pecans. So let's go ahead and water these puppies. We can knock that one out of the way, no problem. In fact, we can knock all of those out. What is he saying about pelicans? Pelicans and pecans? Do we live somewhere close to the ocean that we can have pelicans? That's amazing. Are you pecans? Look at the, oh, and we have our little white Irish goat. I forgot to show you guys, out of the way ostrich, that thanks to all of our wonderful ostriches, we did get our adorable little white Irish Mulroney goat. So he's kicking around, walking around the yard, having a good day. Are you pecans? I think these are gone, so let's go ahead and super grow them and we'll see what happens. Hello, Lily girl! In fact, speaking of super growing things, we really need to give Lily some attention. She is our little kittlet. Pretty sure these are pecans. Pecans! Yay! Watch out, Lily, it's a giant pecan! <laughs> there we go. But she is our awesome little kidlet, and she only has one more job to be trained in, and we haven't done it yet. But we need to make more fortune charms, so we'll have our farmhands help us out with a lot of really awesome strawberries in a little bit. Oh, and we won the dog bed, you guys! We won the dog bed! And our good friend... What do you want to take care of, good friend? What are you over here for? Henrique! Go for it, Henrique. He wants to take care of our little fluff butts. So he's off to tend to the rabbits. But our good friend Henrique is hanging out next to the awesome dog bed that we managed to snag. So let me just wiggle over here. Hello, look at this. I put it over here because I figure we don't have a dog yet, so the kids can totally just play in it for a while. I don't care. Like, that's what kids do with dog beds. When I had a dog crate for my German Shepherd, they, she was almost never in it. It was the kids who were always in it, my cousins. They were always, like, playing in it. They'd throw pillows and blankets over it and make it, like, a little castle or a jail. It was really funny. But, you know, it's like you buy a cat bed and it's ends up just being like a footrest because the cat never uses it. So it's that kind of stuff. But yeah, look at the little dog bed. But, oh, and yeah, we actually will check on what we need to do for our little doggy race in just a moment. There's a couple exciting developments here on the farm. One of which is we can build our last teapot. I'm so glad. So the quest with Mayor Marie to do the tea um, quest passed before we managed to snag it all in time. But thankfully, thanks to our wonderful friends, M Mio, who's the tea dust bunny, Michael, who is the tannin, tannin tipster, Karen, who's the decaf dynamo, and Lumila, uh, Lumila who is the sip pundit, we can finish building the fifth of our little tea brewing stations and keep the tea brewing for a few more days. We actually got a tea trolley. Isn't that amazing? I love that we got the little tea trolley. It's just so cute. All right, and let's get the tea brewing so we don't waste any time. Do we have enough for bubble tea? Not yet. Cardamom? Oh, we do. Good. I can get a couple of those going. Uh, heirloom citrus. Might be a good move, but I think the tiramisu is better. So let's get. Oh, look at that! We can get so much of the tiramisu going. I've already asked like all of our friends for basically everything in the last 24 hours, so it's still still taking its time. But look at all that tea. I love the little sound it makes when she puts the porcelain lid on top. That's just awesome. And our co-op is open! Yay! I think I'm the only person in the co-op right now. <laughs> who can actually do this, which is kind of funny. But we are going to be uh, trying to complete 30 orders to get the co-op 
going because we do have a lot of people who are wanting to join and I want to make sure I can help you guys out by by pushing the co-op forward really making things happen I've completed two orders last night and we'll start completing all of these other orders as soon as possible oh look we have another friend right here hello Nicolo Nicoletta I think the name is so tiny for some reason all right, let's harvest up all of the mint, which, as you know, we use as animal feed. And the quinoa is actually for a co-op order. So let's go ahead and get that co-op order out of the way really quickly. Oh, I love, I love this. I feel like, I wish I had, like, these little quest icons in real life, and I could just tap them and be like, what am I supposed to be working on? Because <laughs> there's always so much to do, and I get, I get lost sometimes. Not gonna lie, I get a little bit confuzzled. That's why to-do lists are I live by to-do list. So these are basically like little to-do lists, which I love. And I love, you know what? I need something like this where you can build yourself up towards like a big reward and you can just be like, woo, yay, big reward. So maybe, maybe I need to do something like that too. That would be fun. If you guys were going to give yourselves like a nice reward for working hard, darling, are you up? Yeah, he's just, he's just hanging out in the middle of the field. That's fine. You can go get that watercress, I guess, darling. But if you guys were going to give yourselves a big awesome reward for just doing whatever task that you kind of have to make yourself do, what would it be? Like, what would the task be? And what kind of reward would you want? Like, I used to give myself farm bucks for my working out and that was really awesome till I hurt my foot doing too much working out so I'm, I'm figuring out what the next step is gonna be oh right oh my gosh I saw a puppy tail oh okay well we're gonna take a peek at our lucky clovers real fast oh we're getting there we're almost to a red pine tree I think we can craft a few of these things all right look at that oh my gosh we have 850 <laughs> sunflowers now because of all the sunflower harvest we've been doing for the um, for the super awesome little little flower festival, we really do. If you guys have ideas, my fellow Farmville Two players, of how we could host our own little flower festival, then please leave comments below. Because I would love to try to come up with some fun ways that we could have fun together. Really easy things, things that wouldn't happen every week. Maybe once a month. We could do a little challenge and somebody could win like, I don't know, a $10 farm buck thing. I'll have to figure it out. I have to see if that's in the budget. Oh, my little windmill. All right, so let's complete one co-op order. See, we're doing our work. Um, ooh, these are both nice, but I think I finally have, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah, I don't have the, enough wheat for that. That's, that's fudge knuckly. Uh, what about this one? I don't have enough wool for that. Well, we'll fix that. Let's see. I have... Get back in there, Bun-Bun. I have to stop the escape of the Bun-Buns. Because they are sure good at it. Alright. No, don't water that tree. Dang it. No. Come over here. Quick to the fishing boat. Which cancels out all those silly actions when you mess up. There's a little otter. Oh, we have some golden lures. Let's use these real quick. Dun, 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 dun. ba -dun! A perch and a trout. Oh, this is nice. I wonder what it would be like if you started your day every morning, like, going fishing. I think I would want to move a little bit more. It would be fun to go fishing, like, where the river is just overflowing with fish, and you, like, just run in and, like, grab a few, like, during a salmon run or something. Like, of course, I'm talking about, like, sustainability, not just so you can go catch fish. Well, maybe you catch them and then you throw them back. <laughs> Just like, good morning, we're playing today, fish. Actually, um, in some areas of New Zealand, they have eels that live in family pools, like ponds of water, and they have eels, and you can go and play with your eels. Like, that's a thing. That's a thing that really happens, which I think is awesome. All right. Apparently, there's hungry animals in the barn, so let's go ahead and feed them, and then we're going to pop in there and get some wool from the highly productive wool uh, sheep sheep that we have in here. Hello, sheep sheep. All right, we've got some in here somewhere. Lincoln sheep, there we go. One, two, three. Thank you, little Lincoln sheep. Thank you, little Lincoln sheep. Let's go harvest the yarn just to get that out of the way. And then we can make the little, like fill at least one co-op order, which would be nice. In fact, what does this friend want to do? Leanna, if you could, could you help us out with this wheat real quick? I have a responsibility to fill these orders for the co-op, you see. 
All right, let's harvest that up. Yay! Oh, tiramisu. Oh, thank you guys. You guys have already tossed me enough that I can make more tea. There we go. And then let's go ahead, have her tend to the wheat, and we're going to make some lovely peach pearl necklaces. And then let's see what it will take to work on the puppy. Because I really want to see us get that little puppy. And I think that quinoa, that's what I was growing the quinoa for. I remember now. I thought it was for a co-op order, but no, it was actually for the puppy. Oh, so exciting. And we can complete this. Boom! Zooming up on those orders, and holy moly, no, you can't have that many clotted cream fudges, you nutty man. Go away! And this is going to have to be passed up too, because that's way too many corn. Don't be shy about tossing an order out if you don't think you can fulfill it, guys. That's something I've learned. Alright, you go, and then I can complete these at least. So we'll work on that. We'll harvest this up real quick. Thank you, darling. Ooh, look at all these giant wheat. Oh my gosh. She was an expert wheat grower. Goodness gracious. There we go. And then let's go ahead and pop down here and we will see what we need to do for the puppy. I am currently in the lead and I'm really excited because we get a resource pack and a dog jump if we keep going. But my gosh, it takes a lot to earn a puppy. It's a thousand points. They make you work for it like no tomorrow. All right, let's see. We need to feed three more adult sheep. Can I make this yet? Ooh, I'm still short. I'm still short on one knitting needle. So we gotta wait on the knitting needle. I need to use two farm hands. Do I have the rhinestones? We're making fancy dog collars here. I do! Yes! I just need one more. Like, two more rhinestones and one more collar and we can complete that one. And here they are, those puppy treats! Alright! Oh, the vitamins! <laughs> Dang it! Now I'm remembering, like, why did I need that quinoa? Probably for a co-op order after all. All right, and this wants us to raise six baby chickens, so that'll happen with time. So let's finish up these two farmhands and feeding our adult sheep, because I need more wool anyway. Now that I have, now that I have kind of used up all the wool. One, two, three. Yay! We just completed that little task for the adoption tasks. And now let's use our farm hands. Pardon me, all of our awesome friends who are hanging out in our fields. Let's go ahead and get some sunflowers put down. I don't have a lot of fertilizer, so we might have to be careful about this. How close am I to getting more fertilizer? Not very close. <laughs> Drat, that's always what tends to hold us back. Maybe our friends and farm hands will have to work together. But we need to use just a couple more farm hands. All right, so thank you to Craig who has stopped by to be our farm hand. And thank you to Serena. Very nice to see both of you. All right, we'll send out the request. And now we can view the adoption. Let's see if we get closer to that bun bun too. Because we're really close. I think just like five more giant sunflowers. <gasps> Over there! We won it! We won the baby fawn French Angora rabbit! Oh my gosh! Um, into the little rabbit thing you go! Oh my goodness, look! That really launched us forward. We're almost to the Insta Grower too. Oh wow, that's gonna be fantastic. There's the little, oh, look at the affectionate bun bun. I want a more affectionate bunnies. I love the affectionate bunnies. Um, I think we want the little baby fawn Angora bun bun. I used to have an Angora and it, it was very furry. Like I love fertilizer, but it was a really wooly bunny. So I'm gonna go with that. Uh, can we make some alpha alpha biscuit treats for its digestion? We sure can! Oh my goodness, that's so awesome. All right, we can do that. Can I make some apple scones? I think we might be able to, thanks to that amazing wheat that we just gathered, thank goodness. In fact, I better make some of the dough. See, I love it. It makes you start thinking ahead of time. It's like, I know I need to make more of those puppy treats, so I better get some dough going. I think that's enough apple scones. Three apple scones? Oh, I only needed two. And I think I have some salt because I've been very conservative with my salt and I almost, I just need a little bit more. Dang. Well, at least we can do these for the, the little baby bun bun. Look at all my rabbits. I have like three rabbits being affectionate right now. There's Snuggles. Here's Shrew. 
And then our little lot bunnies and an, our little Angora rabbits. Oh, they're just so cute. But yay, we got our new rabbit. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. It's because you guys grew some amazing sunflowers for me. Just pop those out of the ground like no problem. All right, let's check one more time on this. Oh, getting so close. Getting so close. Let's harvest that up. Oh, we just got a new sheep. <laughs> One exciting morning. What a great way to start the second season. And I'm actually thinking of redoing the farm a little bit. I kind of really want to make it look super nice. To have like a little community area down here with some decorative gardening. I really would love to expand over here and get like some herb gardening going. Level 97! Ah! Like to move everything over here and then make like this really awesome herb garden you walk through to get over to the kitchen. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be so nice. Oh. And then to like be able to move this stuff, maybe make like a really cool forest to gather all the different fruits and vegetables and things. Maybe a naturalistic forest. <gasps> we should like expand over here and then make a super naturalistic looking forest where we mix in like some of the uh, the plants and we mix in some of the trees so it looks like a natural area that you would find our bun buns. That would be so cool. Oh, that would be awesome. All right, so I hope we have the sheep in the inventory because Walter didn't show up to take his wool, but it's gone. The yarn is gone from the little thingy. So hopefully he, he just like is like, yeah, we've done this before. All right, and then let's see what's going on here. Murney! All right, the last thing we're going to do for now is see if we can get Lily. Murney, are you going? Yeah, all the way up here. It is see if we can help Lily girl out by having her complete her last task, which is something we have put off for months. And Lily is such an awesome kid. She deserves better than that. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. And then we need to fertilize it. Yeah, we're about to run out of fertilizer. So this will this will be a lily. All right, accept and send. Yay! Oh my gosh, look at all the people who just showed up. Oh, you people are so amazing. I'm gonna have to spend like a day just with all of the people who show up on our farm. I just run out of stuff. <laughs> Oh goodness. All right, there we go. Um, Lily girl, Lily girl. There you are, Lily girl. Come here, sweetie. Hold still. Come back, yeah. She's like, I want to play with my brother. I love, we have our, our chicken, or our chicken, our kitchen peacock is what I was trying to say, who just like wanders around Lily. All right, fine. I can't, I can't teach her anything right now, but and I think, oh, and these guys are ready to harvest. But we did it, you guys. Oh, oh, and we were going to finish this little thing. I remember now. Hang on one second. Let's see. Feed three adult cows. Have a... And we'll, we'll let Lily, since she's like not in the mood, to sit down and make... Oh, hey, Nick. To sit down and make uh, some delicious little things with me. We'll have Lily come over here. She can have an energy. One of our rare energy packs. She'll do the cave exploring job. She's very good at it. And then we'll come over here and... I kind of want to feed our little cow. Where's our little cow? Little cow, where'd you go? I don't know where it went. I'll have to check that out. It's hiding somewhere. So we'll feed the Ashire cow for now. One, two, three. Ta-da! We helped the cows and got to see some of the birds up close. A win-win, I might say. All right, so we did his quest at least. And Lily found some stuff. Yay, Lily! All right, and I think that's good for today. So that really helps me, like, feel organized. I'm getting the spring clean urge for everywhere and everything. And I will see you guys next time. We will interact more with you amazing people like Rodrigo and Henriette and everybody else who has shown up to help out on the farm. And we'll start dreaming about how we're going to have the little farm look and how our family here is going to interact. And basically, it's going to be good times. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Like I said, what kind of things do you motivate yourselves for when you know you need to reach towards something big and it's going to take daily work? 
Uh, sometimes you embrace the work, but sometimes you just need that thing of like reaching towards something big and fun. And fun, I think, is the key word. So I hope you have a fun day. And even if it's tedious schoolwork, even if it's chores or going to work, I hope you can find a spirit of fun in it somewhere. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.